Yeah, I thought I'd do a little short video. Uh, I was, I had to replace the water pump on uh, my 2002 Dodge Dakota today, and I watched several videos on YouTube because I'd never done that repair before, and got much of the information I needed. But this nut back here was so frozen on on mine that I've just been trying and trying and trying and I haven't been able to get it off yet. Uh, so, rather than, like in every other video, take this uh, fan clutch assembly off first and then get the water pump out, uh, I was actually able to take the whole assembly off and by unbolting these the four bolts that hold the blades here to the clutch, I was able to get just enough room to finagle this whole assembly out. Uh, all I had to take out was the fan shroud, I didn't have to take out the, the coolant reservoir, I uh, didn't have to pull the radiator, I didn't have to remove uh, the casting that has the uh, um, the AC uh, compressor mounted to it and the alternator mounted to it, I didn't have to remove that, you know. Uh, and so I just thought this might be helpful to somebody uh, if you've got a, I, I think 90, 95 through 03, I think they're pretty much the same, but I just thought I would show you this and say, hey, you know, if you're having trouble with this, you might, uh, you know, you can take these four bolts out and you'll have just enough room. Now it's going to be tricky. You're going to have to play around with it, but you'll be able to get this whole assembly out in one piece. And then, like I've got it here in the vise, and then I'm trying to address this issue of getting this nut off. Uh, the, the new water pump and everything else is already hooked up, so the only thing right now is getting this clutch and the fan back on. Uh, so I hope this helps somebody. I'm not going to uh, go out and you know, be, you know, show the truck and all that stuff. You know, if you're like, if you're looking, if you're trying to do this repair you know and if you're watching this video then watch a few other videos and you'll get most of the information that you need um, but yeah also as an aside there was another fellow that did a video on this repair and he just ended up leaving his clutch fan off and was claiming he didn't have any overheating issues because there is an auxiliary electric fan in there so, so I'm not sure if I'm even going to continue to mess with this, but I, I'd like to have it anyways. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tip, and, you know, if, if you like these videos, uh, like it, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question. So, and have a wonderful day.